All right, welcome to part 44 of Urban Vitales Stunt Taxes with Joe. Yeah. We're going to be so in the war. killing us some Muslims. Let's play to the fifth. This is not going to go well. Just uh, my insight. Okay, let's see how the diplomatic map modes looks. Uh, admittedly, not too terrible, but... I think it looks pretty even, to be honest. But, yeah, it definitely looks worse than any other major war we've ever done. Like, and we've been at war with yeah. France. We have? So I'm pretty sure France would have been worse, mate. Hmm. Okay, so let's get this unpaused. Put it on three speed. So it's been, it's been on three speed for a while, dude. Okay. <clears throat> I'm taking one of my armies to Aleppo, so you can take a Dana. Oh no, Switzerland has warned me. <gasps> dude, you're gonna die. I've been they'll, to they'll, they'll Switzerland you. so many times, but I haven't taken anything. I've Wait, just we been... No, we're not at war with Ottomans. I thought we might have been at war with the Ottomans. I was shit, I'm son. That would have been really bad. Oh, you you're bringing an army to Aleppo as well? I guess I'll move them farther south then. Sweet. I, I, I now have a bumper zone. <laughs> no offense, mate, but you know I'll die first if we don't. Well, you drinking that coffee? Oh, absolutely. If you go and block it off at Barut and Hama, just like leave armies around there, that'll be the best. And dude, we're sieging Mus because we had a chance. What? Okay, well that was. We, no, there was um there was um food shortage, so I um saw an opportunity and I took it. I see that, and we didn't even have that many casualties. We had pretty much none actually. Cannons. In right. Use. Uh, if you come to Deazor, we have a food so food shortage here as well. If you want to just like tank this one, yep, dude, stay still, sit down, like leave your prop. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Idiot. I was looking for Dayer Zor and or Dayaz Zor. And... The walls are breached as well, so I'm pretty much gonna ask like a one hit hit no anyway. Wow, walls are breached already. That's quick. Yeah. Those cannons. That's yeah, dude, dude, dude. dude. Do you know what, dude? I might take some of this north and provinces just because. Why not? Wow, where are these Mamluk armies? Um, dead? I don't know actually. I've only killed like a couple of two thousand man armies. I haven't seen any actual armies, so I don't know. So that's pretty. That's pretty depressing, to be honest. No, for I'm not gonna complain. Good point. We should probably um say thank grace. Well, this is a holy war, whatever, so. Uh, You know, I'm not even going to bother converting these lands. Just because we're going to have to convert them to Protestantism soon enough. Well played, boy. Oh, God, I'm going to die of money loss. I, I found all their their uh, little allies' armies. Like, 3,000 men strong. Kill them. Oh, 7,000. Ooh. <gasps> Shit. Add up all those armies on the front combined, and you almost have one of my armies. You also have one of my mini armies. You will have one of my mini armies. 15k ones. I, I don't need that much manpower at the moment. I'm I'm standing out pretty well, if you know what I mean. A revolt. Ooh. Oh, god damn it. Where is it? Revolt in uh, one of the provinces I just captured. Oh. And it took over. Well, that's not a problem for me, but I will go back and get it if you want. You want me to go deal with it? We've lost the Siege of Calabria. Okay, hold on a moment. There's just a lot of shit going down. Just oh, gotta... the, here, I found the enemy armies. Oh, it's just 14,000. Oh, no, that's a pretty good point only. I have to agree with you when you say only now. And I think about it. Oh, God, there's a 13k army of the Mamluks, dude. Yeah, I'm dealing with it. All right. Um... Trying to think of what I can do in the meantime while. Well, actually, I can't do fuck all. You've got all my armies. Well, that goes out the window. That plan's out the window. Oh, dude, I was going to go take the rebels out for you, so it doesn't matter then. Um, if you want a siege in um, Karaman, yep. I have an army there. Well, willing to assist you. Dude, I my manpower is not that bad. I'm st I'm pretty solid at 55, like 40k that I don't need to spend at all. If you know what I mean? 
Mm-hmm. At the moment, we're nowhere near where we're meant to be conquered. I'm going to go conquer this um, other side of the Empire. Just to cut off any money they can get from over here. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. We just don't want them having money at the moment. You can well, deal with the rest, can't you? Yeah, we're just moving down the choke point. It's going fairly well. How do you think I did it as Byzantium? Yeah, this is just a choke, choke point. point. They've lit if you just put two armies there and two armies behind it, they've literally got no chance. Right. And I'm sieging like three provinces deep the whole time. Exactly. They've got no way of beating you. Because you can just recall you can just bring in Oh my god, I'm down to a five K army. Home now. Army home. It'll be okay. We you've contributed enough. I think I have it under control. No, I'm, I'm still I've still got some armies that are willing to help. It's just one army was reduced to five thousand men. I still have two armies that are full. Nope. Yeah, thank god I moved the right army. I thought I moved the 5k army again, but I didn't. So this crusade isn't too terrible. It's a lot easier than I expected, to be honest. If, if I'm purely honest with you. But this is definitely the biggest war we've done. Definitely the biggest. And can you send that 20k army in Austria down to, like, Naples? Yeah, sure. Give me a minute. And Just also, adjust, my tax. you have a 19k army in the Holy Land that could be used on the front. Give me a minute. Alright, alright. Will you? <laughs> Wait, where is it? Uh, Beirut. Beirut. Where do you want it? Why don't you send it to like Gaza or? I'm gonna change it to Judea since Judea. you only have five thousand men there. Yeah. And that's a risk. We're not willing. I'm not willing to let you take. As the smaller empire in this relationship, I'm not. I'm not gonna let you die. Yay. And again, I don't think I'm smaller. I have more vassals now. <laughs> Pretty sure we're even now, bro. To be honest, it doesn't really even matter. Nah, good point doesn't matter but it will do one day i mean i mean no it won't it'll never matter listening to the comment section i see nah i'm joking i don't give two shits what they say no offense guys but yeah <laughs> shush Shh. this is your opinion right in my hand and this is me killing it all right dad that's what happens when you're on the internet your opinion doesn't count for shit Welcome to Reddit. Welcome to 4chan. No, I'd like Reddit's to... Reddit's dirty side. No, it, that's the opposite. No, it's not. Reddit's nowhere near as bad as 4chan. Well, that's what I was talking about. So I said, that's what I said. Reddit's dirty side. Oh. oh. You get it now? I thought you said Reddit was the dirty side. No, Reddit's dirty side. 4chan. Yes. yes. Jesus. So bad. You might want to engage. No, you don't. Judea's not. Uh, it wasn't a food shortage, as far as I remember. Well, well, shit. This is not bad. Seriously, is it? If I was you, I'd take Judea and uh, Haran, and uh, maybe Acre and Damascus, just to like cut them, cut their empire in half. Because we, lo everyone loves being a dick. Well, shit. Well, this isn't bad. It's we fought just because they were big. We thought they were going to be hard. It's taking a toll on my manpower, but it's not too low. I'm gonna start sending some armies back, okay, dude? That's fine. Once the finish, we've um, taken out the rebels in the north. Yeah, Naples is just the only place they're getting land. Uh, why? What do you think I'm doing? I'm stopping them. Good. Hey, enemy army! I'm going You know, actually, I'm gonna siege this. I'm gonna take do this siege first, then I'll kill them. That's right, you are not even worth my attention. Siege come first. Um, so how's the front going? Well, we're moving up pretty fast. You might want to siege Judea, it's a water shortage. We should be able to take it with one hit. Gotta love those cannons. Gotta love them, man. There we go, I'm all taking right. my armies home now. That's alright. We should be fine now. You've encountered no respectable 
See if you can get a piece. Well, Ash, got... see if you can get rid of the allies in the war. Ah, yes. Once they're gone, I'll say after this. Such as Tripoli. Once they're gone, you should you're pretty much going to be able to take the whole land. Hmm. Oh, by the way, uh, two Sicilies is back to you. The second of the two Sicilies is soon going to be yours again. Well, you piece them out, so not my problem anymore. Now we're just at war with Armenia. Is Armenia... what? Armenia is... didn't... wasn't Georgia a thing? Georgia was a thing till they died. No oh, shit, they just collapsed. I'm pretty sure the Golden Horde killed them, to be honest. I think so. I, and the Ottomans and whoever else is around there. I'm pretty sure they did it. Don't really think they just spontaneously died, if I'm honest with you. So what do I want? Judea? Judea, just take like choke, take the choke, take the choke points. Type thing. Like take um, Judea, Acre, Damascus, and Hawan. Hawa. Those four, if you can get more, take more, but they're the four main four you want. I'll just try to take as much as I can. Gaza is normally quite profitable, so that would be a good province. If um, Byzantium was big, it, it, where the Ottomans are, we'd have to take Alexander to stop them forming the Pentarch here. Yeah? Well, I could fuck with them and just take them, take Mecca. <laughs> no. I think that'd piss up, piss them off a lot, though. Yes, but no. Admittedly, that's two Holy Lands at once, but no. We have better things to do. By that I mean I have better things to do. By that I mean that try and actually try and get my vassals back up to good relations with me. Because at the moment, I'm still trying to get them there. That's the only problem with having loads of vassals, dude. You have to constantly keep them happy. Or I could take or they Alexandria. they want to kick you in the dick. Why would you take Alexandria? Honestly. Admittedly, it's a decent province. It's not worth it, dude. The Holy Land's what we came for. The Holy Land's what we should take. You have to be at least semi-respectful of them, of their religion. We're not like the Crusaders of old. Uh, I can take quite a few provinces right now. Have you got the infamy room though, mate? Yes. Yeah, you have your... well, fucking heap of loads. Yeah, take it, do it, now. Finish this war. Oh, that's exactly what I expected as well. So, I'm gonna need that's to march beautiful. some men home, but... That's pretty oh, that's beautiful. beautiful. Uh, that, no, that's just that is beautiful, mate. There's no that not might be that is beautiful, and Judea will be mine for a couple of years soon. And that was only a 13-minute war. Wow, let's keep going. We've got better things to do. By that I mean I'm just going to sit around and reclaim manpower for the rest of the part. Do you know why? Of course you know why. Wow. Ooh, yes. Conquest of Jerusalem. Seriously, I honestly don't know where I put most of my armies anymore. I've completely forgot where I put most of my armies. Seriously, am I dealing with stupid... Fine. Uh, no, you've got, you don't have your army in Naples, so... Yeah, I know, because I've already... I pulled that out ages ago. Right. Because we finished the, um... You finished the war with the people who took it, so, so I pulled out. Oh, I've taken the Holy Land. Does it feel good? That yeah, that's good. That Does it feel good. good to know that all your men are going to be stuck there if you're unlucky enough? Yep. Look at that. Let's pile up. How many men are there? Oh, isn't that your whole army? Yeah, basically. Actually, yes, my whole army. No, you've got one army out. I just got military access. You've just kicked the shit out and like, yeah, can we have military access? Can I get home? Sure. Yeah, you know, we, we're friends. We respected your religion and didn't take Mecca. Yet. <laughs> That's next. What? What did you say? Nothing. You heard nothing. Oh, dude. I, I think I might have to go to war with Hesse. Or Hesse. I can get Frankfurt for, um, 
uh, to win from here. I can then vassal them if I'm lucky. I'm gonna have to keep some men over here, though. I know you are. Ooh, thriving colonies. Oh, you poor man. I've just realized something. Until you get mil until you, you, you are able to walk from your capital to the Holy Land, do you know how poor they're gonna be? Are they are they considered colonies? Yep. So, so I get no money from them. You only get tariffs if you can uh, keep up the tariff um, thing. Uh. There's one good thing that comes out of it. You own them. So you have zero ships protecting the seven sea lanes for overseas provinces. You need big ships as well. Really? Little ships don't count. Fuck's sake. All right. Oh yeah, detach your navy from mine and build, rebuild the new navy. We're gonna have to make a couple of big ships, guys. I just remake your whole navy in the seven big ships. If I'm honest with you. Damn, these big ships are expensive. Yeah, yeah, they are. Hey, which vassal was I on? I was on you. You're next. No, I mean you're next to get money. Oh. Because nice. I have to pay them off. Ooh, uh, yay. My new mission, liberate Transylvania from the Ottomans. You ready for a war against Milan and Savoy? When your men get home and uh, like supplied. If my manpower is a bit down. I'm at 23k manpower and I'm still contemplating doing this. You have an empire of 30,000, you need 47,000. You're gonna go down to zero empire, aren't you? Uh-huh. Wow. And it's likely to get worse, because I'm still marching through the Ottomans. That's not good. This looks like a couple of parts of um, diplomatic um, stuff. A couple of parts of decadence. Yep. Pretty much. And Savoy's conquering more of France. Oh, that's not good. Poor France. Wait. Who is it still at war with England? I would give them money, but I'm losing enough money as it is. As it is. Seriously, I think my next idea has to be... Um, uh, bureaucracy. Give me that 10 plus 10% 10 national tax. Oh my god. Well, I have to do this. Revolt in Treviso. It would basically revolt over 50,000 men. How? Like 620, what? 29, plus 38. That's 17. 67,000 men. Or what? Minus 10% taxes for four do years. Do it. My, my, yeah, that's dude. You either have an army that can cr completely kill you and finish your like, reign in this game, <laughs> or you lose a bit of tax. From one province. Yeah. So you still have every single province apart from that one. That's. I'm pretty sure I know which one I'd pick. Uh, obviously the rebels. Yeah, I actually honestly would pick the rebels, if I'm honest with you. I like a challenge. <laughs> You know, I just like a nice 67,000 rebels in one province. Admittedly, they'd probably all die of attrition within a couple of years. Exactly. It's not Almost. exactly the hardest rebels to fight, but to be honest, you're more crippled than I am. At this point, with my manpower of now 15,000. I have 22,000 manpower and I don't have to replenish armies. Still got 26,000 that need to be replenished. I'm pretty much now just sitting here looking pretty. Until I go to war with Hess. Oh, doesn't matter. Oh, no, wait, that's... No, Hess. Yeah, I have border friction on them until... Uh, September of this year. You want to do it? I do. Should I? Oh, we'll be fine. We still got all of our vassals. Okay, you going to join the war anyway? Yeah, sure. Just because I want your vassals in this? They'll be more than happy to join. Oh, royal marriage. God damn it. Who with? Hess. <laughs> Oh, this Minus thing three goes. stability, woohoo! Oh, this thing goes. So that's for your troubles. I'm sorry. Uh, you could have declined me. I really didn't want to put you through shit. Ooh, okay. Uh, minus three stability. I've been through worse. It'll be alright. 
Looks like we are going for a long place of decadence, doesn't it, mate? I suppose so. There's no spose in this, mate. We are. I've got the holy land. Yay. I don't think that means shit when we're like this, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, it doesn't mean shit. There's no, I don't think it does. It just literally doesn't mean shit, mate. I'm getting three manpower from Ho Ho Ron. You're getting something, mate. Ooh, ten from Judea. Fox just joined. Meh. Augsburg joined, but they're gonna die soon, so it really doesn't matter. Too understood. I'm just gonna do like my rebel uh, vassals, pretty much sort the whole war out. Cause if I let my vassals do it, I don't have to do it. My vassals look more than eager to deal with it. I like how you say more than eager. Yeah, my vassals aren't exactly happy at the moment for some reason. I keep losing relations with them. Yeah, Burgundy doesn't like me. Have some money. Yeah, just like throws gold coins at them. Like, have some money. <laughs> or I imagine in this time period they just like sent a horse and like a cart full of gold. There you go. Here's money. <laughs> and here's money. The horse is named money. <laughs> Because why oh, the fuck not? Oh dear. Yay! Government uh, takes 15. One of the three options will happen. 33% chance of gain one stability. 33% chance of current ruler will die. 33% chance of lose two stability. So, there's a 66% chance of bad things happening. Yes! That doesn't sound good. Yay! Stability increase. Are you lucky shit? Woohoo! I'll You've take it. You got lucky in EU3! You are so screwed for the next 50 years. What's next? Comet sighted. Well, fuck you two, Paradox. <laughs> that would be my own answer to it. Yeah, I like how Death and Taxes adds all those options that basically say, oh, I'm just going to save and reload, because it gets rid of it. I would never do that, though. I've never actually saved and reloaded yet. No, oh, one stability is nothing worth getting annoyed Pissy over. over about. To be honest, dude, I think we should just go for a long piece, like long time of peace. Well, because we're I honestly have to can't build up everything in anticipation of the Protestant Reformation, which is going to be going on very shortly. Dude, that's going to dry, run me dry. I'm already, I've already have basically no money as it is. Right, it's going to be. We better stock up. Oh, I can't take Frankfurt if I want to vassalize them. Eh. Uh. You're gonna have to deal with it. I know I am, but that's bullshit. Mm -hmm. Hey, vassals, you know it'd be awesome if you actually fucking held. See, I'm now down. I've now lost like 10k in an army. Ooh. I have a couple of national decisions that I can do. Dis declare statute in restraint of appeals, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. Or pass dissolution act. Dissolution one's meant to be good, isn't it? Uh, free subjects game one lose three infamy, national revolt risk minus one, but production efficiency minus five. That's not too bad. It's okay for like, it's okay if you're gonna have like Muslim provinces and that, because Muslim provinces will start to revolt. We'll get like stay unruly for a print until you pretty much convert them. Ah, dissolution act requiring the parliament to meet every three years. That'd be a pretty good idea. Might as well. Ain't right, that pretty much just like getting rid of the parliament? No, it, it makes it so they have to. With it's so basically, I, I believe the that had roots in after the uh, glorious revolution, where the English Civil War and everything was basically caused by the parliament not being allowed to be called together or something, and it was their no, way of they saying. No, they want. He disbanded them pretty much, and then he said, "Oh wait, come back. I need money." Well, that's pretty much how the war started. Yeah, oh, please give me money. Tax without the permission of Parliament. Right. So we had to call back Parliament. And say, hey, yo, yo, give me money now, please. And the dissolution act just made it so you. they were guaranteed to meet every three years. Sounds pretty much useless. Yeah, but whatever. whatever. Wait, do I annex them or do I vassal them? Um, dude, do I take 12 in for me, or do I take 4? Annex them. It 
looks better in the long run. I know. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> More promises to take away from the Holy Roman Empire. Oh, box. wow! You're looking good. I'm looking a bit ugly, but hey. yeah. So can you hurry up and take Savoy over, people who are taking over Savoy? <laughs> I need to do decisions to them, and I can't do it until you've finished fucking them over. Burgundy and Bohemia seem to be doing their bit. That's why I'm like, hey, just like, fuck them over a bit quicker. Need to, like, finish this up. Like, so I can go back to peacefully having, ha keeping my vassals happy with me. And not have them pissed off at me every five years. But that's it. Rome, everyone's getting a royal marriage, just so I can keep my relationships up with them. Yeah, I'm back up to 22 in for me. But I look a lot better. Still, I've still not made our actual border yet. How depressing is that, man? Yeah, it's almost 1500. Uh, I haven't made our um, German border yet. True. Um, Savoy, are you ready to um, give me money? It seems there's always somewhere else that we can invade. Yeah, we never seem to get stay in Germany for too long. Mm-hmm. Like, I went to Denmark for a bit, but oh, that's purely because of the Emperor. Oh, the Roman Emperor ship, though. That wasn't actually, like, intended, though, to us. I'm quite shocked that Savoy, of all people in Germany, is the ruler. And pretty strong ruler as well. Yeah, but I, I've always imagined that some other German state would be the ruler, but I guess we've kind of silenced all other big German states. Hmm. I'd say Cologne's the only other person who could do it. And they're so close to me killing them. Mm -hmm. Bavaria's gone. They've got no chance. Um, Brandenburg under you. Burgundy under you, sorry. Switzerland? Wait, why in Switzerland being got the chance? Yeah, they, they're they usually the biggest in the region. And, yeah, they're in the Empire, so why the fuck aren't they doing it? That's pretty depressing that if you think about it. Wow, my tariffs are a whopping two. That's good for tariffs. Is it? Yeah, because tariffs are shit. They hardly give you money as it is. Does Seriously, vassals for... are useless. Well, it does pay for the navy that I've bought, so... So I guess it's a net gain. There we go, white beast. I can now rebuild on what I had. I took some good provinces from uh, Hess, which I'm going to go sit in. So, how long are we going to be at peace for? Name a number of years. Mm, I don't imagine we'll actually stay at peace for that long. Four speed? Four speed. Five speed? Seven speed. Ah. Nope, I, you literally leave, I leave you behind. Yeah, I don't think it's... Even I don't think trying. any more players made for that fast. I'm actually. I bet if you have two nice like two thousand dollars computer hooked up with a fiber optic network on land, right next door. Yes. Maybe it'll be able to do it. Maybe. EU four might be better because it's all going through Steam, or that might yeah, be that, worse. That Who will knows? be better. It's no dude. It's through Steam. It'll be a lot better. Every game we've played through Steam has been ten times better. You have to admit. Yeah, and I, when they did the uh, press conference of people playing EU4, they played for like 12 hours, and they said they had one disconnect because someone's fraps crashed the game. There was not a single network error throughout the entire time. Wait, there were someone's fraps, as in they were recording it? Yeah. Fair enough. Don't know why and they, they had frap. like 16 people playing. Fucking hell. That's badass. Yeah. Because it's all oh, going yeah. through Steam, dude. Look at the look at me. I'm ripping. <laughs> me and you are just ripping. Like we're pretty much cutting in half the empire. Oh, the empire cut in half. <laughs> Take all of our vassals out of there, and all you have left is the Netherlands and like West Italy, and a bit of the Rhineland left. Mm-hmm. But then again, I'm pretty much nearly conquering the Rhineland. So I like how you've got a border with almost all the electors. Wait, have I? Let's have a look. 
Uh, Bohemia, that's my bitch. Bremen, that's my bitch. Um, Cologne, soon to be my bitch. I am touching mains. Yep. Palatinate, yep. Trier. I'm not bordering Trier currently. Oh, no, yeah, I am. Yes, you are. I'm boarding everyone but Savoy. Correct. Wow. The best part is quite a few of the people are my bitches. Alright, so, uh, that has been part 44. So, what? let's see, what's the, what's the cliffhanger for this part? Um, do we not go to war, do we stay peace? I think you all know the answer. Anyway, this has been part 44, we'll see you guys next time.